Hi guys, good evening. I am Trish with Unique Me through your three healing empowerment. I have been um, pulling off on doing the heart chakra healing video for several days now for a couple reasons. One of those reasons being I was already going through a lot of transformation. A lot of changes have been happening in my life that I'm having to adjust to. And I had already been working on healing things that had to do with anger. However, Spirit told me to also wait because many of you had been doing, watching the videos that I had already posted for all the other chakras and was going through quite a transformation as well. So now I've been guided to do this. It is time for me and everybody else to clear whatever is holding us back from unconditional love for self and others. Uh, being non-judgmental to ourselves and others, anything that has to do with traumas that need to be cleared, guilt, shame, anything that would keep us from uh, love, unconditional love, or that may have blocked us from uh, feeling love. That is the things that we're going to work on today. So I'm going to go ahead and pray and set intentions that um, anybody watching now or at a later date will receive the healing that is happening for the heart chakra. Uh, whatever happens for you is what's meant to happen. You may have to watch this several different times to go through clearing several different things. If you feel led to do that, make sure that you do that. Maybe give yourself a break a couple days in between because some of you will be purging after this video, meaning uh, pooping and peeing a lot or crying a lot. It could just be that a lot of triggering will come up in your life to force you to heal certain aspects of things that have to do with your heart. Um, so let's just go ahead and begin. Source God, higher self, angels, ascended masters, I ask that you come and be with me tonight as I do this heart healing. I ask that whatever blockages need to be removed at this time or released at this time that you will allow us to see those things, bring the memories to the forefront of the things that need to be released at this time. Whether it be just one situation, event, energy that we need to heal or several tonight, I ask that and intend that whatever we are meant to heal individually, that those things will come through for each one of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guide Lena, start me through this, please. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow into the screen and get everybody into a relaxed state. I'm going to do it three different times each time, intending that the energy that I am pushing through your crown will go all the way from your crown down into your, uh, all the way down to your toes, relaxing each and every muscle in your body, grounding you, centering you, and getting you just relaxed so that you can feel more comfortable while doing this meditation, healing. I'm going to do that now. can see the energy spiraling from head all the way down to the toes. Some of you may feel a little bit anxious at this time. That's normal. Some of you are probably starting to feel very relaxed in your body. I'm going to do it again with this time intending on the energy going to the heart chakra and expanding it out in all directions. This time I'm connecting it with the angels. Asking that higher self will start to become more in tune with you and uh, what it needs you to know at this time. This time when I blow into the screen, I'm going to intend that this will awaken all cells that are holding information about what kind of blocks need to be released at this time. Any kind of, um, you know, anything that has to do with trauma or unconditional love and forgiveness in our hearts. We're going to ask that those cells be awakened at this time with this breath that I'm blowing in now. Many of you are now feeling tingling in different parts of your body, random itching or tickles that you may have where these cells are awakening at this time. Go ahead and close your eyes. I just want you to 
as I'm guiding this meditation to just follow along. If you have a hard time visual, visualizing, that's okay. Just setting those intentions that the healing will happen is exactly what will happen, even if you aren't able to see or uh, get intuitive knowings as to what needs to be released at this time. The cells will be awakened and it will play out in your life within the next several hours to days. Any triggers that come up, just pay attention to those. Becoming aware of them will help the healing to happen anyway. But let's go ahead and see what they have for us today. I want you to know that there is angels on all four sides of us in the front, in the back, to the left, and to the right. They are coming in colors of, of their, um, their, their aura. I'm not seeing any physical shape at this time. I'm seeing a red angel in, in, in the front of us. And I'm hearing the name Raziel. To the back of us, I see a green and gold orb. This would be Raphael. To the right, I'm sorry, to the left, I see Michael in a blue and sort of like silvery gold orb. And to the right, I am seeing Japhael in a yellowish colored orb with a white ring around it. I just want you guys to imagine those colors being around you. Send your love and light out in all directions from the heart space to those angels with intentions on connecting with them. We ask that they will guide, lead, and instruct us through this meditation, through the healings that need to be released at this time. I see Raziel, the red orb in the front, presenting me with some sort of golden it looks like an old key, like for, um, you know, an older type style home. And I'm seeing it come into my heart space, just opening it like, like it's been locked up for a long time or something. As I see it being opened, there is greenish colored light coming out. Pay attention to what color the green is. Is it dim? Is it really bright? Even if you're not able to see it, what are you imagining at this time? Are you having a hard time seeing it really bright? Just pay attention to how it feels to you, your inner knowings of what it's telling you. Maybe higher self is guiding you through this and showing you. At this time, I'm seeing mine halfly uh, bright lit and half very dim, almost dark and black, which lets me know that there's some blockages, but not the whole thing blocked. At this time, I'm asking that we will be given the memories, that the memories will be recalled of the first thing that we need to heal that has to do with our heart chakra. And I'm hearing unforgiveness. So this would be things that we need to forgive people for. Some of you are going to have hundreds of flashes of different images of things that you need to forgive or you need to start to release at this time. It may be things that people have done to you, things that you've done to other people that you need to forgive yourself for. Let's just take the time to sit in this energy and see what thoughts come to our mind. And as you see them come and they, be, they come into your awareness, just know that the healing is already starting. The release is already happening. You may cry, you may feel anger, you may feel guilt or shame. Allow yourself to be present in the way that you're feeling, whether it be sad. If the tears are coming, let them flow. That is a form of purge. It's a release. Even if you don't have any images coming to you and you feel like crying, just don't 
don't try to keep them bottled up. Just allow them to flow. Whatever you may be feeling at this time. comes to forgiveness, a lot of times we'll be shown a situation or an event that's happened that caused some sort of reason to have hatred or dislike towards somebody, to feel some sort of negative energy towards someone, and a lot of times you'll be shown the truth of the matter, maybe why the person walked away or why they acted the way that they did or why they hurt you the way that they hurt you and usually it's some deep seated reason for the way that they were raised or you know maybe some something similar was done to them just be aware of what you're feeling what you're sensing what spirit is showing you at this time seeing all four angels pushing in their light into the heart space expanding it some of you may be able to see a brighter green now others of you may still have blocks that need to be removed I'm asking that the next thing that needs to be worked on at this time what needs to be healed at this time will come up for some of you this is still going to have to do with unforgiveness in your heart Others of you, it may be some sort of traumatic event. Some of you are going through processing the death of a loved one. Some of you need to tell your, I don't know what the right word to play, is to use, but some of, some of you need to speak how you feel to somebody, even though they're not sitting in front of you or what have you, but maybe you need to speak it out loud or just internally, like how they made you feel, how it hurts you. whatever you feel is valid for you whether or not they made you feel as if you were wrong in how you felt or if they are in denial about how it is what the truth of the matter really is tell them how you feel get it out there so you can let it go and let it be start the process of forgiving becoming not judgmental towards that whole event or situation So don't take the time to wipe your eyes. Just let the tears flow. Allow yourself to be present in what you're feeling, what you're sensing, what you're seeing, what you know, the truth of what is being revealed to you at this time.
some of you are going to start to feel an embrace from Archangel Raphael behind you coming in, wrapping its wings around you, swaying you from side to side, making you feel like a mother's love, a mother holding you and cradling you and letting you know that things are going to be okay. Giving you comfort. You may even lay your hands on your lap at this time and be able to feel Michael and Jaffael's hands touch yours, energizing them, feeling a warmth, feeling comfort all over again. Your body may start to feel very that much more relaxed. Many of you are probably seeing different colors flashing in your third eye area. Some of you still may be going through seeing events or situations or energies that need to be healed but at this time I'm also seeing the the uh, the heart chakra is starting to expand I see it spinning very slowly in a counterclockwise direction as if it's being kind of like rewound so that it can be uh, put back on its axis, so to speak. Yes, they're saying, so some of you are going to start to feel that spinning in your chest. You may feel a little off balance. If you're still healing things, just continue to allow that to happen. It may even continue after this video is over. And now it's being kick-started in the opposite direction. This is going in a clockwise direction now. Some of you may even start to feel a little bit nauseous as it's starting to, to spin the opposite direction. This is because you're becoming more in alignment. Some of you have had triggers, so to speak, to solar plexus, sacral chakra and root chakra, as well as throat chakra that have to do with the connections that you just healed. A lot of times when there is blocks in the heart it will also block other places with communication with feeling in your power uh, not having firm foundations and relationships or in your home career because of some of these things that have happened so a lot of you are going to start to feel different things being removed or pulled out of or maybe even um, seeing flashes of light that are the colors of those chakras that's all completely normal As they're being released, you may even feel things coming out of your body and new energy being put back in. I really don't know how long I got left on this video because I don't want to open my eyes. I'm still clearing some things, but if it hangs up, just stay in this uh, this energy and continue to heal until you know that you're done and open your eyes and just give thanks to the angels that have been here, higher self for guiding it, for all the healing that took place and that will continue to take place until it's done. Again, a lot of you are going to feel a purge, whether it be an emotional purge using the restroom a lot, energetic purges or energetic throw-ups, so to speak. Some of you may feel very tired. Now take a look at your heart again. Is it bright? Is there any dim light there? Is it dark? What is it looking like now? I'm actually not even seeing green light. I'm just seeing bright, white, shining light. If you're seeing that, that's perfectly fine. We want to just make sure that we're not seeing any dim lights or dark lights there. We want it to shine brightly. So if you're still seeing the darkness 
for any dim light at all. I want you to stay in this meditation and continue to ask Spirit to reveal to you the memories of what needs to be healed at this time or restart this video even. I see the angels backing away. I'm just going to give them thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love. healing is done again if you guys need to stay in this energy make sure that you're doing that so that you can heal whatever needs to be healed at this time I hope everybody has a wonderful night and the rest of their weekend much love to you guys bye